Royal Air Force Takano, uh, owned by oh. Lee Elite, right here on getting ready to take off uh, this aircraft built in 1987. Yeah, take a look at this. This is uh, quite a fitting tribute to, uh, you know, it's great that we have Thunder this year, but uh, we are missing one of Thunder's uh, uh, greatest uh, admirers and performers, Lee Lee, like we talked about a little bit earlier today. But watch as this airplane takes off, uh, flown by the man who taught Lee how to fly the Takano. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel retired, United States Marine, um, Kerry Vinden, also known to us as Moto. Moto. All right, Rob, so tell us a little bit about a Takano, but then also specifically about the Leet Takano. Well, so the first thing is the Takano is an aircraft that was designed to uh, be an advanced trainer and light attack aircraft. Um, it is uh, a turboprop, so uh, although it looks a little bit like a World War II airplane, it's not. It's very modern. It's very fast, very capable. Lee was able to do uh, uh, the whole host of the aerobatic catalog uh, for us and demonstrate the capabilities of the Takano. And uh, in some countries, they'll actually take this. They train. The RAF uses to train their pilots, but some countries will use this, use this as a light attack aircraft. Angela Lee told me that uh, she and her husband and her two boys, they picked the colors uh, for this plane. Also, the uh, propeller. When you see mm -hmm. the, uh, the nose of the Takano turn around to you, you'll see it is uh, black and white striped. And they also <laughs> picked that very interesting detail because it would stand out as he was making those rolls and nose dives over the Ohio River right toward the bridges and then he would pull up. Oh, this is... He's air. lowering the gear. So one of the neat things about this airplane is, you know, for anybody that knew Lee is uh, um, he, he knew how to, uh, to really improve things and Lee really tricked this airplane out. It's got some of the most advanced avionics in it and he even put a USB port in the back of the aircraft so <laughs> Angela could plug her phone in and either listen to music or try and text people as they were cruising <laughs> across the uh, uh, the country in this. What a scene there with downtown Louisville in the backdrop. This last past year, of course, he died suddenly in March at the age of 53 after an illness. But this past year, he also put in ejector seats for the first time. It, and she told me, she goes, why all of a sudden now are you getting around <laughs> to the ejector seats? 